Here's an odd little gadget that I got a long time ago. It's a California canned earthquake. And the idea is, this is like a tin of food, except when you place it down, it immediately starts shaking like an earthquake. And if you just tilt on its side, it will also... Yes, quite noisy. Yes, lots of shaking. It does say... Uh, store it for safe handling of this product. Please carry the cans. The fault line is up uh, to be able to make this video. I had to turn things inside so that it's actually the this label facing up will actually stop it. But you can guess what's inside this. But nonetheless, let's open it up. So the bottom comes off to reveal the battery compartment. And if I shake this out, it was kind of stuck in before. There is a cardboard sleeve, there is a motor with an eccentric weight on it, there's a little tilt switch in here. Deep down I hope it's mercury, because that would be great if it was. I think it's old enough to actually have a mercury tilt switch. I don't think the modern ones would have that though, because of regulations, just in case all the wee babies eat the mercury. Even though mercury isn't as harmful as, as they imply, it's the vapour tends to be the harmful bit. So this is all held together. It's got the battery here. And then it's got uh, hot melt glue holding it together. How reassuring. Nice, simple construction. This battery is held very tightly, but this is probably a good thing. Let's see if we can get this out. I think this is going to require some isopropyl alcohol. So let's drizzle some isopropyl alcohol everywhere. How does isopropyl alcohol do? Getting things off polystyrene. I think we're about to find out. Oh. Okay, so here is a switch. Ooh, what's it going to be? What is it going to be? Is it just a mechanical tilt switch? I'm trying to remember the when I got this, it came from the gadget shop in the UK. I think this might... I see a little metal body in there. I think this may actually be uh, actually a mercury tilt switch. Let me just uh, try and get more hot melt glue out of it. This is a s typical cylindrical uh, switch. Hold on. Can we get any more sleeve off this to gain access to the little metal switch inside? Does it say anything on it? It's soldered onto the side. Is it just a ball bearing? I shall shake it. That's not really going to tell me a lot of lot. Actually, you know what? It it sounds hard. It doesn't sound like the floppiness of a mercury tilt switch. Incidentally, if you want some mercury tilt switches, now that they're banned, eBay is your friend. You can get your mer mercury tilt switches off uh, eBay in little packets. They have no problem shipping them to them. This is quite odd the way they've actually, they've drilled a big washer and then they've basically sorted in. Uh, interesting, but very simple construction. And just a, a standard mechanical tilt switch there. I'm guessing it relies on the fact that when it's shaking, uh, it's going to keep pulsing that. I'm not really sure. I think mercury would have been quite nice here. But you use what you can get these days. But there we have it. Uh, a canned earthquake. It's a motor. It's a tilt switch. It's a battery. I mean, could you get any easier than that? Uh, oh, incidentally, I checked online and you can still buy canned earthquakes. So if you have a desire to have a canned earthquake, uh, they are still available. This one is under the brand Dynamo. D-Y-N-M-O Co. Uh, no website address because that's how old this is it actually i bought this before the internet existed as such probably or was widespread in widespread use hmm, interesting but there we have it canned earthquakes that essential thing for your cupboard